Southern California's news leader, NBC7 Eyewitness News. Now at 10, an emergency for an entire neighborhood in Rancho Palos Verdes. Evacuation warnings issued as the land is literally shifting underneath homes. Gas and power now shut off for dozens of residents. Plus, family and friends remember an American hostage killed in Gaza. The action they're now demanding from international leaders. But we begin with breaking news of wildfire racing through hillsides in Riverside County. And new tonight, we're learning it was human caused. Cal Fire now saying the fire was started by someone at a homeless encampment. I'm Michelle Fisher. And I'm Jory Ran. A record fire has burned 650 acres. It is 0% containment this hour. An evacuation warning has been placed for nearby areas. Six firefighters have been taken to the hospital for minor injuries. We will continue to monitor this fire and give you updates as they come in. We now turn to the emergency hitting a Rancho Palos Verdes community. Hundreds of people told to leave their homes, both power and gas now shut off. The latest evacuations are actually the second major land movement event in Rancho Palos Verdes in that area. The evacuations today are for the Portuguese Bend neighborhood. You may recall in July of 2023, a dozen homes were red tagged and evacuated on Hair Tree Lane after heavy winter rains oversaturated the ground and then caused it to move there. Here's a look at the homes affected on Pear Tree Lane last year. 12 homes, again, red tagged, five yellow tagged due to damage to utilities there. This area remains closed to the public. Work continues by the neighborhood HOA to try and stabilize that hillside and minimize further land movement. Stabilization efforts are expected to be completed by the fall. Uh, but again, our focus tonight, the Portuguese Bend area of Rancho Palos Verdes, an entire neighborhood now being evacuated due to the ongoing land movement. And that's where we find Eyewitness News reporter Sophie Flay tonight. She has more on lawmakers now calling for state assistance. Sophie. Yeah, that's right, you guys, and there is an evacuation warning here in Portuguese Bend, and we did see some people pack up their cars and head out, but men, many residents we spoke to say they are staying here because they're worried about their houses being broken into with no power and no streetlights. In times 